me, your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got Cyberpunk 27... 2077? 2077. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? I can't remember the name of the game. But it's the new Cyberpunk game, and this is Keanu Reeves' character, uh, Johnny Silverhand. Um, from the, he's the lead singer of the rock band Samurai. And this is, this is from the upcoming video game that's coming out very soon, but the McFarlane's action figure has come out a little bit early of the game. I'm not too bothered to pick up the protagonist character that we're going to play as in the video game, but I really wanted this Keanu Reeves action figure. It actually really looks like him, and it actually I'm actually really impressed with this figure. The likeness to Keanu Reeves is amazing. I wish the glasses came off, because they don't actually come off as far as I can see. They are sculpted to the face. Um, but the, 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 the really have cap, you know, captured the likeness of Keanu Reeves, in my opinion. Yeah. It looks just like his carriage from the video game. And I'm loving all the little um, details. Like, it's a samurai from his band, and this is like a logo, I'm guessing. And that's really cool. And then he's got a really cool bionic arm as well. Biomechanics things feature heavily in the game. He's a war veteran, as far as we can see, according he's got some dog tags on. And again, I'm loving how they've even designed like the gruffness of his beard and facial hair. Uh, you can see his eyes through the glasses just about, and they have given him a really cool, long, traditional Keanu Reeves-style hair. <laughs> they've even included some really cool tattoos on him as well. Um, I believe those are something to do with his uh, cybernetics and stuff. And then, of course, he's got... What's that under there? He's got another tattoo there. But, yeah, the figure itself is really cool. And he's got some little designs and things on his vest here as well. It's like a Kevlar bulletproof vest almost, is this. And he's got some, like, rock and roll style trousers on as well. The figure has a lot of good articulation, which we'll talk about in just a moment, and it does come on its very own base with the character name there and the logo um, for Cyberpunk 2077, and it says Model Johnny Silverhand. And you can get the other character as well, which I believe is the protagonist character. So the head on this one, it can look down as well as look up, but it does stop due to the hairpiece, or that is made of a softer vinyl, so you can move that around if you want to a little bit. And obviously you can move his head left and right as well on the pivot, which is nice. His arms do lift up that top hinge, they do rotate as well. There is a butterfly hinge a little bit there as well, so you can push his arms forward and backwards. There is a single hinged elbow, but this, the, the regular arm does have a double hinge. Uh, the hands are on ball joints as well, which is nice. Um, and can rotate from side to side and stuff. And there is a rotation at the bicep as well as at that top hinge with the butterfly hinge as well. The, the, the butterfly hinge is more useful on the, on the real arm rather than the, the bionic one. There is an ab crunch under there as well that I can feel that you just can't activate it very well, but there is a waist swivel there, so that's very cool. His legs do lift out all the way, which is rather nice for a McFarlane's figure, and you can hear it clicking into place, so it does feel like this won't go loose on you. It's quite a stiff figure. Um, so you can lift the legs out. There's no top hinge or anything, but you can rotate the legs around in the hinge ball joint. Uh, the legs as well do have uh, double hinge knees there, as you can see, which are very useful. Again, clicking into place. No other articulation in the legs, sadly. No boot cut, no top thigh cut. But the feet do rock back and forth and are rotatable. And there are little holes in the feet, obviously, to sit him on the base. He does attach the base via... Um, via his left foot as I'm as I'm looking at him here or right foot from his front view so that's very cool the figure itself does also come with a few little accessory bits it does come with his guitar which has a strap as well which says samurai on it and things like that so that's very nice very detailed again it's nice to have a nice guitar piece as well to use it also comes with some form of Futuristic bottle, I'm guessing that's alcohol of some description, and it also does come with an alternate hand for the bionic arm. So if I just see how easy this is to pop out, all right. So the hand just lit, literally pops off, and you're left with a little like stump here, to which you can then just port the new hand onto it. Does it pop on or anything, or does it just sit on? No, just sits on. That's that's on though, and you can. Can Reeves can then give the rock on. It's a pretty cool pose actually. 
Right guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this figure up close on the desk cam. So let's go to the desk cam. Alright guys, so here he is out of the packaging looking really cool. Zooming in on that face cut guys, as you can see it is very detailed. It really does look like Keanu Reeves. They have done a great job I think at capturing the likeness. I know I keep saying it, but that was the draw for buying this action figure for me was to have a Keanu Reeves action figure. Um, obviously, most people are going to go for um, his other characters that he's played and stuff. Um, but, you know, I like this one. I think this is a really cool figure to have. I think, obviously, with the bionic arm as well, the the, the amputee part of it is having a bit of effect on me. Obviously, as a fellow amputee, I'm really liking having an action figure like that. Um, I am actually, I've taken him off the base now, so he is just standing on his own, by the way, just because I didn't show that on the, original, on the other video. He can stand on his own, he doesn't require the base, most McFarlane's figures don't. And they do go very greasy very fast, I've noticed. They've got, they need cleaning quite regular. But the figure itself is just immaculate, I'm loving the paint designs and stuff. The figure is just immaculate, I've not found a single paint blemish or defect on this exact figure. I've definitely got a winner here. I got this off Amazon, by the way, so please do check Amazon out. And you can also get it, apparently, in the United States from GameStop and Walmart. And like I said, there is other figures in the line as well, including the main protagonist. But um, as far as I can see, from what I know here, um, Johnny Silverhand is the central character for the game, for the Cyberpunk series, as well as influential rocker for the lead singer band Samurai. It was revealed that Johnny will be played by Keanu Reeves in the game um, at the... Uh, was it, it wasn't E3, was it? Is it E3 last year? Or was it the Video Game Awards, one or the other? Um, he's an ex-Central American vet turned rocker. Johnny's the leader of a top chart band known as Samurai. He's known for his musical skills and compelling songs and history of tarnished relationships. Um, Johnny first appears in Cyberpunk 2013, a uh, supplementary booklet, Welcome to the Night, within a mini-adventure of Never Fade Away. So um, Cyberpunk is like an ongoing series. It's not one that I'm overly familiar with, but there are uh, other. There's a whole Wikipedia just um, you know about it and stuff. So please do check it out if you're interested. Um, again, I wasn't aware that they had you know other cyberpunk things. I'm not sure if it's uh, an anime or something like that or a comic book series, but it is being adapted into the video game. And again, if we look down here, you can see they have got the really cool guitar as well with all these little um, stickers and things on it, which I really think just adds to the realism to that. Again, he's got his bottle there as well that you can see. And the rocker on hand there as well on the other stand. Yeah, such a cool figure. I really like it, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So there he is, guys, with all his accessories and things. Look, look. That's a cool shot. I will be posting some pictures on Instagram if you're interested, guys. So please go ahead and check him out on Insta if you're interested. Um, at Super Sorrel. And make sure you give us a follow on there as well. Yeah, such a cool character, guys. I really like this. I can't wait for the video game. Well, but before we go back to the main cam, let's actually compare him size-wise to some other figures and see how he scales. So here's how he scales with a regular 6-inch Marvel Legend, guys. This is the uh, Marvel Select Venom Disney Store Edition. So here's a little bit in the middle there. About maybe six and a half, closer to seven. Well, I know that Venom and the uh, Crooked Man are both seven inches in height-ish. So I then we, we definitely know that Punisher's six. So we are going to be saying that he's about six and a half to three, six, three quarter inch in this range. Not quite as tall as Crooked Man's, and not quite up there with the NECA figures. But he's definitely not down there with the Marvel Legends. He's kind of a middle ground. Uh, you can definitely tell he's a McFarlane figure from the size and scale as well. So he wouldn't scale well with your Legends, I don't think. But it's still a cool figure to have on your shelf nonetheless. What do you guys think? Is it going to be a figure you're picking up? Let me know in the comments below. So guys, what are your thoughts on this action figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It would really support me, really help us out, and help us keep making awesome videos. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Again, uh, just to talk about something really quick, I know you guys have been saying I look a bit tired in my recent videos and look a bit rough. I'll just let you know, um, I am currently self-isolating due to the uh, corona issue. 
Um, I'm on the mend, I'm feeling okay, I'm just a little bit groggy, but I'm still pumping out content for you guys. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, like I said, please make sure you subscribe to support this channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!